Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to demo how to add client ID enforcement policy to the API. I will log on to the AnyPoint platform. AnyPoint.mulesoft.com I will enter my user ID password. I will go to the exchange. Here I have already published the order API. Order API have the slash order post and get endpoint and slash order slash ID get delete and put endpoints. I have implemented this uh, API in AnyPoint Studio and I deployed it, implemented Mule application to the Cloud Hub. So let me show you Runtime Manager. In the Runtime Manager, I have application API-IMPL slash demo. That's where I implemented the order API. Now I will go to the API manager. So I have added this uh, order API to the API manager and I associated this API to the implemented application that I showed you. So this API and implemented application is associated and I use the auto discovery to associate these both uh, API and the implementation. So let me go back to runtime. Okay, here in the runtime manager, I will go to the API implementation demo. That's where I implemented the order API and I will copy the domain name Control C and go to the postman and I will invoke a couple of endpoints from your postman. HTTP colon slash slash domain name slash API slash orders. This is the endpoint to retrieve all order. So I will click send button. So we got all the orders. Let me retrieve the order by ID. So we got the single order for ID 100. So right now I'm not actually adding any client ID and client secret. There is no authentication right now. There is no policy implemented. That's why I am able to retrieve the data without providing client ID and client secret. Now I will add a policy to the API in API manager. I will go to the order API. So right now this API is unsecured. There is no security is there. I will add a policy to add the security. So I will go back to policy. Here I will add the client ID enforcement policy. So I will click add policy. So I will add the policy here. I will go down under compliance. I will select client ID enforcement policy because that's the policy I want to add. So select this client ID enforcement. Click next. Here we will keep the option custom expression and here we can specify how we want to send the client ID and client secret. So we will use the header to send the client ID and client secret. 
so this is the client id expression this looks good so we can either send uh, using header or we can send as a query parameter so we'll send as a header so this is the client id expression data view expression to be used to extract the client id from the api request similarly uh, this is a client secret we will retrieve using data view expression from the api request in advanced option we can select the policy version we can uh, select the method and resource condition that means uh, do we want to apply this policy to the all methods and resources or do we want to actually apply to certain methods i will keep this uh, to apply configuration to all methods and resources so i will click apply so policy is successfully created and added so under the policy we can see that we have one policy already created so client id enforcement is added so let's go to the postman and i will try to invoke the same method again same endpoint again click send button so we got the error authentication denied we can check the for all orders as well click send so we cannot invoke any method because we applied the policy we added the security to this api so we need to now send a client id and client secret in the header of the request so we need to request this client id and client secret to request this uh, client id and client secret we will uh, go back to the exchange go to the order api here we need to request the access so we need to click this button request access so we need to select the api instance it's a v1 this is api id here uh, either we can select the already created application or we can create a new application so we will create a new application we can give the name we can give any name any unique name i will give api policy test app we can add some description api policy test app rest of the two fields are optional so i will not enter anything i will hit the create now our application has been created now we can uh, request the access for this application so click request access okay so we got the client id and client secret we can copy this client id and client secret so i copied the client id go back to postman and here we will add a header client id and i will give the value that we just copied now i will create another header client secret and i will go back to the any point platform and copy the client secret go back to postman and i will enter the client secret now we have client id and client secret in the header so i'm requesting uh, again all the orders and this time it should work so i'm going to click send button okay we got all the orders similarly we can uh, get the orders by id okay we got the uh, order by id so we got the order 100 so if we change the client id it will not work i'm adding some character cd click send button so we got invalid client 
so uh, our security is in place and uh, our api is secured using client enforcement policy and it's working i will go back to the endpoint platform go to the api manager here you can see the client applications one that means the one application has requested access for this api because you just uh, created application and uh, requested the access for this api that's why the client application is coming one so this is how you can uh, create policy we have created a client id enforcement policy and we secured our api using client id and secret so this is all in this video i hope you understood how to add client id enforcement and how to invoke the secure api that is secured by client id enforcement by sending client id and client secret in the header of the request so if you understood how to add the policy and how to add the client id enforcement policy to the api click the like button and subscribe our channel thanks for watching thank you very much